Today we will see how we can create the NDVI map in ArcGIS that is the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index Mapping using ArcGIS. Now for that you will need the Landsat images which is here I am having Landsat 7-8 images. You can download that from the USGS website. If you are not aware regarding how you can download, you can watch my video on that. I will provide the link in description. Now here you need to select the two bands which is the band 4 and band 5. As my study area was not covered in a single Lancet image, I have merged the Lancet images. So I'll just take that band 4 and band 5 and add them. Once the images have been added, you can go to Geoprocessing and open the Arc Toolbox. Now here in the Arc Toolbox, we'll have to input one formula by which we can find the NDVI. For that, you'll go to Special Analysis Tools. In that, go to Map Algebra and then double click on Raster Calculator. Now, we'll input one formula which is for the Landsat 7, 8 images. So here on the right side, you can see this float. Just double click on that and then in the bracket, we'll click on this B5, then minus b4 then place a division sign and again double click on float then we'll input this b5.tiff plus b4.tiff that is your band 5 and band 4 once this is done you can save your raster to any of the folder you want you can even rename this from here and then press OK. Now as you can see we have got the lower value from minus 0.39 and the higher value is 0.62. Mostly this NDVI will range from minus 1 to 1. Minus 1 will not indicate the vegetation. The positive values indicate the vegetation and generally vegetation is indicated by the values between 0.1 and 0.7 now that's this done so we'll just change the color ramp for that you'll just right click on your newly created raster and we'll go to properties Now here in properties go to symbology and from there you'll find the stretched. Then just change the color ramp of your choice. Apply and OK. Now let's just see this once. Again I'll go to properties. Right click go to properties. And here in symbology we'll go to classified. Now in classified will give the label names and also I just want to change this range. For that, firstly let me just change the number of classes. I am keeping it as 4 and then click on this classify. Here I will just input my break value. I am changing it from 0 0.39 to 0 0.05. Now just press OK. If you don't wish to change that break value, then it's OK. Now we'll just give the label names. Just click on the label and give the label name. Now this is not the vegetation. So this might be the water body. Then here the next class is land then we'll be having shrubs and as I told that the positive value will be the healthy vegetation so the somewhat positive value that we have got we have taken it as shrubs and this finally is the healthy vegetation class then click on OK even you can change the colors if you wish to. 
So let me just keep this as blue. Then this as yellow. This somewhat to be light green. And this is dark green. Once it's done, you can press OK. As you can see, we have got this. Now one thing we need to do is to extract our study area in order to prepare the NDVI map. So for that, again, we'll just go to Add Data and you can add your study area shape file. So here I have added my study area shape file. Now I'll just make the color as hollow and outline width, I'll increase it and then press OK. Once this is done, you'll again go to Special Analysis Tools in that extraction and in that extract by mask. Here the input raster will be this newly created raster and the input raster or feature mask data will be your shape file. Then click on OK. Allow the processing to get completed. Now that this is done, I'll just untick this raster and also the shape file of my study area. Then right click on this extracted raster. Then from here, we'll again go to Symbology, Classified, Keep the classes to be four. Again, I'll classify and change the break value. If you don't wish, then you can keep it as it is. And again, change the labels. Then click on OK. So our NDVI is completed. In order to create a map, Firstly, we'll just change this name and keep it as NDVI. Here also in value, you can change it and keep it something like NDVI classes or simply classes, anything that you want to write. Then from below, we, I'll just change this to layout view. Here I also want to change the ISO page size. So let me just change it to ISO A2 landscape. If you will click the zoom in zoom out, then your map will be zoomed in and zoomed out. That is your whole page will zoom in and zoom out. If you just want to zoom this particular portion, then you can find the zoom button here. Zoom it, then using this pan, you can drag it. And if you use this pan in the layout panel, then it will drag the whole page. Now I'll just go to insert, add the title, which is the NDVI map of study area. Then mapping is just as simple, that is create a legend, add a scale bar, add north arrow, then go to file and export map. All of these steps you might be quite aware of. If you are not aware regarding how you can create a map in ArcGIS, then you can watch my video on that. You will find the link in description. So our map is complete now and if you want to find the formulas of the Landsat 7, 8 and Landsat 4, 5 then you'll find that on my website. I'll also provide the link in description. Thank you.